Today's video will be a tutorial on how to run your first custom CFD simulation using OpenFoam. When I was first trying to learn OpenFoam, I went on YouTube and looked up the tutorial. Unfortunately, many of the videos I found simply showed how to execute one of the preloaded sample problems. What I needed was a video that showed you how to import a mesh, set up a problem, execute the case, and then post-process the results. At best, most videos only showed the latter half. In today's video, I'll run you through the full process. I will show you how to import a mesh from ANSI's Fluent, mesh it in OpenFoam using the Fluent to OpenFoam mesh command. I will show you how to set up the boundary conditions in OpenFoam and how to specify the rest of the problem. I will then show you how to execute the simulation. Then I will show you how to export the results into a post-processing software. And I will show you how to post-process the results in Paraview. I hope that this video serves as a complete enough introduction into OpenFoam that you will be comfortable experimenting with your own custom geometries and boundary conditions, and you'll be able to properly set up, execute, and then evaluate the problem you are interested in. The first step is to set up the geometry. This will be done in ANSI's Design Modeler. Select the XY plane, this is where we will make the sketch. The exact sketch is not important, just follow the general procedure. I'm just going to get a, a basic backward step geometry. Once the basic sketch is complete, extrude it. Once again, the exact dimensions aren't important. And generate the extrude. Set the extrude to a fluid and exit out of the design modeler. The next step is to generate the mesh. It is important to name the sections. OpenFoam will automatically use these to set the appropriate boundary conditions, although some work will need to be done on this front. Make sure to give the sections appropriate names. This will help avoid any confusion down the line. Make sure you set your physics preference to CFD and solver preference to fluent. My exact mesh is not very important to follow. Once again, this is just the general procedure, but you can make the mesh as fine or as coarse as you want. Just make sure your mesh quality is decent. I am evaluating my mesh quality at the orthogonal quality, which seems to be fine. Mesh quality will have a big impact on solution quality, and you can check the regions with different orthogonal qualities by simply clicking on the plot in different regions. Now it is important to ensure that ANSYS formats the mesh file appropriately. Now we just export the mesh file to an appropriate location. I'm just going to name the file mesh and save it to my CFD file location. The next step is opening your Ubuntu terminal and navigating to the project folder. To do this, I think it is easiest to progressively list directories until the desired one is reached. You then simply copy the previous line, but change the list command to the change directory command.
You then simply create a poly mesh by running the Fluent 3D to Mesh command. The next step is to check and modify the boundary conditions. This process involves opening every file and making sure that the names of the boundary conditions match the intended condition. Next, we will go into the calculation control. Here we change the start time, end time, time step size, saving frequency, etc. Just play around a bit with the numbers and see what happens. For instance, you can change the time step size and see if the solution converges. If it doesn't, make it smaller and try again. A hint is to look into a quantity called the current number. We can now check that the mesh, along with all of the appropriate boundary conditions, have been transferred successfully. To do this, we open our mesh file in Paraview. Visually inspect that all of the boundary conditions are in fact correct. Then, just run the calculation by typing in the name of the solver you are choosing, piece of foam in my case. Once the calculation terminates, you can save your results by typing in touch, followed by your desired file name. This should be a .foam file type. To post process the data, we once again open Paraview and load the result file. Here you can create any number of plots or animations. In my case, I'm going to create an animation from a volume rendering of new tilde. To do this, you simply find the appropriate parameters and change to them.
Then you navigate to the save animation button. Here's an animation from a more simple simulation I ran earlier. I hope you'll try this procedure using different geometries, boundary conditions, and solvers. Maybe try to create a velocity contour plot of the flow past the cylinder using the simple foam solver. To conclude, I hope you got something out of this. I put this video together because I found it extremely difficult to find a high quality, comprehensive, and generalizable tutorial for open foam when I first started. Thank you for watching, please like the video and share it. As always, if you have any questions or recommendations, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Goodbye.